the Ganeshala vineyard. It has a really high content of complexity now, but it's not mineral enough for what we're aiming for. And we wouldn't go higher than 420 meters. We found out that Cavallo loves much heat. He's a heat loving variety. So we know the ideal thing down here is working in, uh, on an average uh, attitude of 170 meters. Mm -hmm. And this is the, the 2011 vintage, which I'm sure you remember was a, uh, it was a hot year. We harvested about three, three and a half weeks earlier than usual, because um, Cabello is rather late by opening. We usually harvest the be beginning of October, and this 2011, I think we started on the 10th of September, because um, the, the sanitary conditions were perfect, but there were some grapes which were beginning to dry up, uh, wasps were beginning to empty out some of the others, and uh, we also, we have a problem at the moment, which are the caprioli, <laughs> um, which, which uh, like to do the harvest just before we do. And so it was a bit of a race to, to get to the grapes in time. We don't like selecting tables. We prefer to have a, a good equipe, well-formed, uh, only friends of ours, which are healthy, come every year, and we're picking, every grape is picked, cut it, turned about four to five times in the hand of the picker, and like with scissors, they're very similar to pincettes, we lift out every impurity. My mother once said, uh, I mean, this is like the rule, what you wouldn't want to put into your mouth will not go into the wine, that's the easiest way, I mean, you know when you have a grape, you just take out everything which for, you know, is a bit too dry or a bit too this or that, and in the end the fruit is perfect, and that's the way that's what we put into the baskets, and that's what we vinify and, uh, and basta. And we vinify in a very traditional way. Uh, we're more uh, aiming for a low-tech, low-tech philosophy. But uh, we provoke, we provoke the man contact with the primary materials, with are the grapes. So they're never thrown into the bucket like this, they're laid in the bucket. And they're brought very fastly to the cellar, and we work them very fastly, and uh, when fermentation temperature exceeds 27, 28 degrees, we just let run out of the stainless steel tank a little bit of uh, cool. cold water, and that's it. And we make punch down by hand with wooden crosses, so we want that everybody has even the contact with the, can smell what's mm. happening in the tank and everything. And, and after 10 to 12 days uh, running out of alcoholic fermentation, we make the pressing. We press with a hand, press mm -hmm. with no pneumatic or no things like no, no machinery no <laughs> machinery uh, also we press very slightly don't have to make extracting too much tannins uh, this this is we're aiming for elegance mm. uh, and minerality so we're, we're really really sensible of not too high tannin extractions uh, just the right thing to help him aging uh, about aging 88 it probably can be that in the in the area of the this was in um, even in medieval times was one of the elements which made the wines more famous than the Chianti wines down in Buschina. Yeah? The wines, and this is uh, even documented, the wines of Buschina been rated higher in price than those of Broglio mm. 250 years ago. Mm. And then Prada came. Mm. <laughs>